Hi, it's Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little catch up with Junk Journal July and also play more with some printables I made. These are free to you the month of July and I'll tell you a little bit more about that by the end of the video. So these are two of my current journals. The little one with the dragonfly I made out of a four by five greeting card. And I've been using this for Junk Journal July. So much fun, been really enjoying the prompts. It's hosted by Meg at Meg Journals, if you're not familiar with it. And just put in the hashtag Junk Journal July and you'll see so many creators on Instagram and YouTube. There's so much inspiration out there. The second thing is I'm gonna work with some painted papers today and some collage sheets that I made. So painted book pages and also I'm grabbing a cup of. <laughs> so I hope you grab a cup of whatever you enjoy and can journal along too. I am gonna start out with the junk journal we're getting to the end of Junk Journal July, so these are, um, let's see, prompt 22 and 23. So 22 on the left-hand side was blended, and I just used some gesso and some bits to make a little bit of a collage. And then on the right-hand side, prompt 23 was maximalist, or something like that, maximalism, I guess. So I, I put a lot of collage on that page. <laughs> and what I'm showing now is that I treated the painted book pages with kind of my own homemade Mod Podge, two parts white glue and one part water. I wasn't overly measure, measurely, I have to say, <laughs> if that is a word. But I wanted to give a little bit of a coating on top so that it would, the old book pages would take the paint well. I know there's plenty of other journalers and mixed media artists who have different recipes. I've heard using cornstarch in it as well, but I found this worked great. It just gave a nice layer to put the paint on. So experiment, I would say, but um, I really liked it for, for these pages. So on the next page, I did the same thing. I painted with um, just gouache and different color paints to do the spatter and made some simple tags. It's kind of a, I don't know if this is really a complete page. And then on the right hand side, the prompt was peaceful, prompt 25. And I thought summer is usually just more of a chill time and collaging is also a really peaceful activity. <laughs> So I guess with these prompts, they're open to whatever personal interpretation you have. Same thing with this on the left-hand side. I had a lunch with my mom. Uh, Memento is the prompt, and I just used a little, uh, the fortune cookie um, packaging for that. So I haven't really, like, don't have a memento from <laughs> anywhere lately, so just grab that. I have also have some coffee dyed deli paper and I've been playing around with some new collage sheets. This is kind of just a test run and decided today to use some more neutral colors for the next prompt. So the next prompt is prompt 26 and I have to say it really stumped me. I was, I was not sure at all what to do and after I gave it some thought, um, no I'm sorry it's prompt 27. 27 and it's called stripped back so stripped back to me I always think about stripping paint or something or wallpaper so this looks a little bit like wallpaper <laughs> and I'm also maybe not I don't know <laughs> that could be a stretch but I'm also going to use them in all different size strips so that's what I'm going for today. I've seen a number of journalers make these cute little notepads out of different size strips. So I think that is the plan of what I'm gonna go for today. And just gonna keep playing around with the coffee dyed deli paper 
and the bits and pieces from my neutral collage sheet. Felt like there was a lot of yellow there on the left speaking to me, so <laughs> I pushed that in, I don't know. And what I wanna do is line up all of these little bits and pieces, strips of paper, so that I can get a staple or two in them and then some sort of closure like a flap. I think I'll just put it on top. It'll be, yeah, like a topper. And just it's a bunch of really fiddling with it. And also size. I realize at this point it's probably, there we go. So I keep speeding up because <laughs> I, I just played with it for a while. I took my time and I wasn't sure just kept adjusting. So I ended up wanting more of the coffee dyed paper and I'm figuring out what the flap is. So how are you doing? Are you uh, doing the prompts? Are you junk journaling for July? Or are you working on something else? I find that the prompts right now, the last few prompts have actually been more of a challenge than the other ones. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just my brain. <laughs> but um, this one, again, I wasn't sure what to do. And Memento, I like, I haven't, I don't know, gone to a concert. I always think of like concert tickets or like something bigger, but maybe just an everyday Memento is like just fine too, of course. So all right, staples in, and I simply folded that flap. Still fiddling around a bit. I was debating, do I wanna cover the staple? Do I need to cover the staple? Because sometimes I like the look of a staple. On the left-hand side, I stapled that little fabric scrap, so it's up to obviously personal preference and <laughs> I guess it depends on the day or the moment with me. And for a way to adhere it to the page, I'm gonna use this little bowl clip, at least for now. I don't know if I'll go back. You could make a really pretty paper clip. I know people do that a lot. And again, I've sped up the video here and there just because this was a really long session <laughs> of playing with paper scraps. <laughs> okay, I think, I think we're good. Prompt 27, just a few more. I think about, yeah, like four more prompts and it's hard to believe, but we're getting to the end of Junk Journal July. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more in my creative journal. This is a Hobonichi Day Free, and I do a spread every week, kind of a week in review, what's happening in my life. I usually jot down, it's a memory keeper, and just some put in some fun things. I like to play with stickers and paint, and lately I've been playing with my new printables and I've added that to the right hand side kind of as a background collage. And I also may put in some of these painty papers. I've made labels that I think I'm gonna use on the left hand side. I have this beautiful postcard in the middle here. My friend Rick who is an artist, used to sell these at craft fairs. I don't think he does it anymore, I just love that. So I put that as a tip in. And these are the printables I was talking about earlier. So if you would like them, they're free in the month of July. There are some dates and some fun reading sayings and a collage sheet. Just go to the links I have in the description box and then it's going to be the Kofi app that I have. It's in my banner, and I'll also provide the links below if you're interested. So yeah, just adding a little bit more to this page. What I did on the right-hand side was use a big part of the collage sheet, 
and then did a little bit of gesso. And on the left hand side, I took some, I was cleaning off my brush from using a lot of that gouache. And so I like that when you have multiple journals going and they're open on your desk, that if it's open, <laughs> sometimes I just go at it when I clean up a paintbrush. So that's what that yellow is. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a label there in two parts for my week in review that I'll do off camera. And I'm just debating where this little date stamp goes. I thought the top right hand corner cause that's pretty often where I put it, but I like it in the postcard that my friend made and that I think that's cute. Not sure about this, you got the sticker. I use that a lot on the other page, so. <laughs> All right, a little bit of glue stick. And there we go, decision made. <laughs> all right, so that's all set up for journaling. Oh, I do find that these stickers from, I may have mentioned this before, I know I did in the last video, that's from You Deserve All the Stickers, issue six. Sometimes you gotta add a little bit of glue stick to those too. It, their, their stickiness is um, sometimes needs that a little bit of extra. So I hope you enjoy these printables. If you're interested at all, they're free for the rest of the month. Please put in zero in the amount because Kofi will ask you for an amount. And I hope you enjoy them. I hope you're enjoying your journaling. Happy Junk Journal July and journaling to you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and thank you to subscribers. And if you pick up the printables, I hope you enjoy them too. I would love to know what you create.